fall on the three-day convention of the Jalsa Salana by the Ahmadiyya community after intensive days of prayers, consultation and discussions surrounding peace within the globe. Our very own Moiga William had a set camp in the United Kingdom where the event has been taking place and brings us the latest. Take a look. Well, I thank you back in studio and of course we're joining you from Alton in England, the United Kingdom. We have been pitching tent here for the past three days covering the Jalsa Salana, the 58th annual convention of this particular event which brings together the Ahmadiyya community from across uh, the globe. I mean, all floods, every nation is represented here. And TV 47 has been a boots on ground, bringing new details bit by bit on what has been taking shape here in the United Kingdom. Now, it, is a, it has been three days of this particular event, and today we understand is the last day, three days of the Jalsa Salanam of 2024, and today is the last day. In the first day, we saw the spiritual leader of this community officially opening this event uh, with a significant, uh, that is the, the raising of the flag of this particular community. And also the second day, we say we, we witnessed intensive activities taking place here at Alton. And today is the third day, the last day, marking the end of this convention, which is organized annually. So today we're expecting quite some different um, scenarios and events. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to speak to some of the people who have attended this convention and get a recap. I mean, what is this um, what is this event all about but in the first day we managed to speak to a number of kenyans who are also present in this particular event which has brought together like i told you before the whole world is here but most importantly over forty thousand people are gathered in this particular area but like i said also kenyans who are present and we managed to engage to them uh, with them and um part of what brought them here is to make a prayer and According to them, the prayer really was heavy on the situation back home. And the situation back home, remember, it has been more than a month of the youth-led, or popularly now known as the Gen Z, that who have been protesting against um, the government, clamoring for better governance. And those who attended this particular convention did make their prayers, but heavy on the situation back home, calling for peace, tranquility, and more so, uh, better governance to prevail in the country we expect to also today speak to a number of kenyans to tell also and tell us about um the three days how it has been uh, for them and also to get some sights and sound from alton more so in this particular convention that has made the ahmadiyya community forty thousand plus to converge here and um just like i mentioned earlier also this is an annual event and tv 47 has been at the forefront to bring you up to speed on the details bit by bit, blow by blow, uh, of the happenings here at Alton, more so about the Ahmadiyya community and especially the Jalsa Salana, the 58th edition. So we are ears on ground, boots on, uh, on ground, also our hands all on deck to ensure that you get every information that come out of here, more so that relates to what is taking place here, but that concerns you as a citizen of Kenya. That is all for me. My name is Moi Gerilam. Now I'll take it back to you in studio. Thank you, Moige, for that comprehensive report. We'll be looking forward to see what else comes out of East Hampshire in the UK. The Human Race